Welcome to Vinylize with Jarrett New. Today we're going to be talking about my top five favorite colored vinyl records. And these are in no particular order. The first one we got is Jose Gonzalez, Vestiges and Claws. As of me making this video, it is currently July 2015. Um, and this came out in February of this year. So um, if you guys haven't heard of Jose Gonzalez, you really should check him out because he is like one of the best acoustic guitar players in the world, in my opinion. And uh, his sound is so distinctive. Like when you hear his songs, you'll know it. Uh, you'll, you'll know his voice. He did a song called Heartbeats, which was a cover of The Knife, uh, their song Heartbeats, and uh, it's a really great cover. He's done covers of Massive Attack, and I'm sure he's done others. But uh, anyway, this is his Vestiges and Claws. It's a great album, and as you can see, it's on clear vinyl. Really cool. I mean, this is a perfect album for like, if you've had a long day at work or at school, you can come back home and put this on and it will just totally just mellow you out. You'll be so relaxed. Um, his voice, you know, the lyrics, the, the guitar playing, everything is just very, very, very nice. Very relaxing and uh, you can just kind of space out to this, you know. It's really nice. Next up, we've got the Kyle So Washes, Nobody. Uh, this is a band I had actually never heard of um, and I found them in the discount section at Amoeba Records in Hollywood. And um, yeah, I just, one of the main things that attracted me to them was the fact that their record was on purple, there we go, if I can get it out. <laughs> it's on purple marbled vinyl. And uh, it's got like little bits of black and white and uh, like pink and yellow and blue, like all the colors in there just kind of thrown in the, into the hopper, the little vinyl pellets just thrown in there. Um, so yeah, I thought this was really cool and it was only a buck, so I figured why not buy it and check it out and I was so glad I did because it's really cool like garage rock kind of music. All right, next up we've got the Elvis Christmas album. This one is actually on red vinyl and I ordered it off of eBay, I believe. And uh, yeah, I mean, what can I say? It's Elvis, it's a classic, right? So it's a uh, red vinyl and on this side, it's got a red label and when you flip it over, it's got a white label on this side. Um, you know, like Christmas colors, it fits the music. So that's pretty cool. Uh, my mom's always been a big fan of Elvis and uh, you know, after playing this record, like I really like his stuff too. I mean, he was a pioneer in rock and roll music. So yeah. It's good to listen to the older stuff sometimes. Oh, uh, this is a great band. Rodrigo e Gabriela, the husband and wife duo that are just so amazing. This is their album, Nine Dead Alive. And uh, man, I can't say enough about this group. Uh, their, their guitar playing skills are just legendary. I mean, either one of them by themselves is phenomenal, but when you put them together, it is extraordinary. It's mind blowing. If you guys have not listened to Rodrigo e Gabriela, I highly recommend you go on, you pause this video and go to the YouTube search bar and type Rodrigo e Gabriela, the sound maker. Cause like, you're really gonna be blown away by that song. And that's actually one of the tracks on this, uh, this record. And as you can see, this is a, uh, a red, it's a red vinyl, but it's also kind of, kind of see-through. Um, so it's different than, than the previous red vinyl I showed you, the Elvis. Um, yeah, I think it's really cool. It's kind of like, it's a darker shade of red than the Elvis uh, record I just showed you. Uh, it's kind of like a crimson color, which is pretty cool. All right, the final record in my collection that's a colored vinyl that I really like is Rob Zombie Hellbilly Deluxe. This one I found at Hot Topic like two days ago. I haven't even had a chance to play it yet, but the album cover and the artwork is just incredible. Um, and this album is just iconic when it comes to like rock and roll albums. I've heard it many times in digital form. I have not heard it on vinyl yet. And this vinyl record is actually on orange colored vinyl, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, and you know, I took it out and inspected it. Didn't have any scratches or anything like that. I was kind of worried because it was stuck in there with a lot of other records and they were like jam packed in there. So I was like kind of freaking out. I, you know, I knew I wanted to get it, but I just I hoped it was in good condition. I held on to my receipt and checked it and it was fine. So 
thank goodness. Um, but yeah, it's in great shape and it's in a beautiful color. It didn't even say on the packaging if it was going to be a colored vinyl. So I was actually really uh, impressed that it was a colored vinyl. So, you know, sometimes packaging can be deceiving. You know, a lot of times if it is going to be a colored vinyl, it'll tell you on the packaging, but sometimes it won't, you know, like in this case. So if you like the music, buy it. And if it's colored vinyl, cool, you know, if it's not, then you just enjoy the music. But uh, anyway, so uh, those are my top five favorite uh, colored vinyl records in my collection. And you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what your top five favorite colored vinyls are in your personal collection. You know, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. You know, give me a thumbs up and all that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys soon. So and until then, you know, keep spinning that vinyl. All right, take care, guys.